wanted to show you how I get rid of skin rolls in Photoshop. So I have this beautiful client who um didn't she just lost some weight. She doesn't like the rolls that are coming about on her skin. Um and she asked me specifically to get rid of that and super happy to oblige I want people to feel their best. Um so I've already done this side and I'm just gonna show you so this is the before. I'm gonna show you what I've done with it so far. This is what it looks oh my bad. Okay, yeah, so this is what it looks like after what I've done. Um like I said before and this is the after of everything I've done so far. Now to show you specifically the role, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and I like to use the clone stamp tool and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, sample a piece of skin on her body that looks a little bit more like uh, clear and I'm going to option click and I'm going to use that sample to clear out the line and it's not going to look perfect immediately but we're just going to keep going until it does. So. Here we go, we've cleared out the line. Let me just sample other parts of the skin to clean this up a little bit here. Okay, and I do still wanna have some kind of darkness right here to uh, mark the natural line that would actually be here. Okay, let me clean that up a little bit. It's not a perfect process, I'm not a surgeon, but um, I'm just trying to make it look as natural as possible because you don't want to just get rid of a line without allowing some kind of a line situation to remain right there. Okay, cool. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and um. I'm going to start with frequency separation, which I have other videos that go th more thoroughly into how to do it um, from start to finish. Um, but in this particular video, since we're not focusing on that, I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into it. If you already know frequency separation, then good, come along with me. If you don't, then please go back and watch... Um, my other videos that teach it from start to finish. Oops, I made a mistake here. Let me go back to clone stamp. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my actions. I already have an action uh, for my frequency separation. So I'm just going to click click my the action that I want, which is this one. And I'm going to use that action to edit her skin. And with my frequency separation, I like to start off with my mixer tool brush. I'm going to take the op opacity off of high. I'm going to go on low. And I'm just going to smooth her, smoothen her legs out with, um, with this brush here. I'm just going to brush, brush, brush until her legs are smooth. Super duper, uber smooth. Because that's another thing that she uh, she wanted me to to take care of her, take care of for her. She said that um, she wanted to make sure her legs, or actually her whole body, she wanted to make sure it was smooth. Because like I said, she uh, recently lost some weight, and she wanted to make sure that everything would come out, you know very nice looking or whatever, which I recently lost some weight. Well, I, not recently, but I, I lost a lot of weight a few years ago. And um, I've had a little issue with my skin too. So I understand that 100%. You always, definitely always want to look your best in your pictures. So I love helping people um, get to to the best version of themselves. I love helping people see themselves in the light that they want to 
Um, not to say that there's anything wrong with how we look naturally, but sometimes the camera and editing process can make things look a little bit crazier than they actually are. So that's why for me it's important to what's about to counteract whatever could have happened with the camera or with the editing process or with the lighting, especially the lighting. Like, you know, if you're outside during like harsh sunlight or whatever, you're more likely to to not look as great than if you know you're probably under different lighting situations, like if you're under like some soft lighting. So I like to make sure that, you know, whatever conditions that we're in, whether it's the lighting or my way of editing, I like to make sure that my client ends up looking their absolute best and that nothing gets in the way of, of you know, whatever vision they have of how they want to look and or how they actually look. Because like I said, everyone knows the camera adds a few pounds, but I'm not sure if everyone knows that the camera also can make your pimples look a million times bigger. It can make your wrinkles look way more wrinkly. It can make your, um, your stretch marks look a lot more stretched. So yeah, it's really important to uh, counteract that with, with your editing process because I'll tell you what, this uh this lady actually um her skin is definitely a lot smoother in real life than in the picture because like i said the editing process the lighting outside the high definition camera which ends up adding some extra clarity um so certain things in pictures just don't look the same in real life we definitely, uh, some, some, most of the time we tend to look a lot better in real life because the camera, oh boy, does it add some pounds. And oh gosh, does it highlight all of our flaws sometimes. So I mean, I love taking pictures and I love editing. You just have to, to make sure that, you know, you make people look as good as they look in real life inside of the pictures. <laughs> so it's a little bit tough to edit around tattoos, but we're going to see about that right now. So yeah, now I'm just going in all over her skin with this, um, with this mixer brush tool. And this should just give her skin that nice smooth look that she wants and that she actually has in real life before the camera you know over exaggerated before the camera over exaggerated uh, the things that she said that she doesn't I'm really feeling about herself right now. Okay, so now zooming in. Yeah, but I get a lot of clients um, just like this in the sense that um, I get a lot of people who will ask me, oh, can you fix my, my, my stomach looks a little bit bigger. Can you make it smaller, oh, my skin looks this way, can you make it that way, my wrinkles, my this, my that, and I'm super happy to oblige, like I said, pimples come and go, you know, so stuff like that, it does it's not a true representation of who we are, so I love to get rid of it for people, and um, that's why I wanted to make this video, because, I mean, as photographers, if you're on here, you're probably a photographer yourself and your clients probably ask you the same things and you just want to be prepared to, you know, help people look their best. And this is how I do it. All right, so now we're, I think I'm pretty much finished here. 
with uh, the color part of my editing, my skin editing. Let's see what it, oh my, this like looks a little weird. Let's try to correct that real quick. Make this one a little bigger. So after I edit color, which is that the low, um, the low, what's it called? Oh gosh, I'm losing my words. This low tab inside of this group, that's that edits color. I'm going to go ahead and click on high, and for me, high edits texture. So anything that color would have missed, like these slight um, marks here, which would be, these would be like um, stretch marks. Well, I'll just sample a nice piece of skin and I'll go ahead and edit that out. Option click, a clean piece of skin, edit that out. Option click, edit it. Option click, edit it out. not looking too perfect yet. I don't know what's going on there. Um, but looks good enough. Okay. Now let's uh, click over here. Edit this part, this part. Maybe let's smooth out the wrinkles in her neck a little bit here. All right, you guys, so let me show you the before and after real quick here. This is the before, this is the after, before, after. Now, if you wanna see the real before, before um, the skin editing, before skin editing, after everything, before skin editing, after everything. All right, you guys, so yeah, this is how I pretty much edit skin and, you know, get rid of any roles that people are struggling with. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to having you back for my next video. Bye.